If you haven't already heard, yesterday Blizzard revealed their upcoming Year of the Rooster event. Starting next Tuesday, January 24th, this is obviously modeled after the Chinese New Year, which begins just a few days later on the 28th. So here in this video, I wanted to dive into a little bit of what we know so far, some of the secrets and mysteries, and talk about some potential of what we could expect. So, so far, what Blizzard has revealed from the event are just two skins, one for May and one for D.Va. Now, with May's skin, she appears to be wearing some traditional celebratory outfit and holding red letter envelopes, which are a big part of the Chinese New Year tradition, where they are filled with what's considered lucky money and well wishes for their recipients. It's a fairly basic looking skin, but again, it's on the lines of a traditional Chinese New Year celebratory outfit. Diva's skin, on the other hand, is a bit more colorful and exaggerated, with a really awesome redesign for her mech, and pile Violet Diva wearing what looks to be a dress called a hanbok, and it's also themed in the Korean Lunar New Year. The Korean and Chinese have their own celebrations for the Lunar New Year, and the color palette of Diva's redesign fits her heritage. On top of that, though, you'll notice that she's holding a coin purse. Now, some people are saying that the red letter envelopes, such as the one that May is holding, will be what the loot boxes are, but given that loot boxes have been boxy in nature in the past, I I think it's much more likely that what we see D.Va holding will be what the loot boxes and the loot items come out of, as opposed to an envelope, a flat envelope. Who knows? It could be either or, but so far we know what these skins look like, but do we know anything else? Well, before we dive into that, let's talk about the Chinese New Year event itself, because that alone will give us some hints. What the Chinese New Year is, if you're not familiar with it, this is a multi-week celebration, generally an explosion of light and sound with colorful decorations, fireworks, bell ringing. Just, it's a big, happy, joyful event, really. It's all about spending time with friends and family as you say goodbye to the old year and welcome in the new year, with plenty of well wishes and hopes for good luck to go around. For Overwatch, with all of this in mind, I would expect that we're gonna be seeing lots of bright and colorful skins, and the two that we've already seen point to that being the case. On top of that, I would expect some emotes on the, along the lines of firework displays, some bell ringing, maybe even a dragon dance or the handing out of red envelopes. Also, some voice lines with characters wishing well or good luck to each other. So those are some of my expectations, but expectations aside, we have several hints already in the game that could point us in the direction of what to expect for some new skins for this event. The first one and the biggest hint of them all have already been almost confirmed, and that is the skins for D.Va and May. They were actually already hinted at during the last event, the Winter Wonderland event. The sprays for both D.Va and May look nearly identical to their skins that they're getting in the Year of the Rooster. Does this point us to other potential skins? Well, looking at the other sprays from that event, a few of them, Genji, Mercy, Farah, Reinhardt, Symmetra, Widowmaker, and Zarya, they all have sprays from the holiday event that don't look like any skins that they currently have in the game. Some of these could potentially be pointing to new skins for the Year of the Rooster event. There's also another skin that may have possibly been hinted at already, and this is a skin for Winston modeled after Sun Wukong, the Monkey King in Chinese folklore. A drawing of Winston dressed like Sun Wukong can be found on Echo Point Antarctica. Given that this is the Chinese New Year, the idea that he'll be getting a skin that looks similar to this drawing that's in the game right now seems certainly plausible. And being being the year of the rooster, I would also expect we might be seeing a rooster costume. We could be seeing one for Hanzo that's modeled similarly to his Okami or Lone Wolf skins with maybe a rooster headdress and he shoots out either rooster dragons or traditional Chinese dragons or even Farah. She already has some skins modeled after bird creatures, so maybe she gets a rooster skin as well, even though roosters don't fly. And eh, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> We're but stretching the imagination a little bit here. Now, finally, what about the idea of a new game mode? Well, well, given the heavy emphasis on fireworks during the Chinese New Year, I can't imagine the new game mode not including some sort of explosions. Maybe it'll be a mode focused around a hero like Farah or Junkrat, with fireworks replacing the typical default explosion animations that they have. Or hell, maybe we even get a another co-op PvE game mode where we're fighting off something like Chinese dragons with explosive barrels shooting fireworks spread all throughout the environment. There's all sorts of fun things that they could do, 
do. And given the colorful and vibrant nature of this holiday, I, I think it could be a lot of fun. Certainly sounds a hell of a lot better than the New Year's we celebrate here in the States. Uh, we all stand in the bitter cold, crowded next to each other, waiting for his giant ass ball to drop. It's really dumb. And we gotta listen to stupid artists from the 90s who can't even perform their goddamn sets properly. So... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whatever. So that's it, guys. That's everything we know about the Year of the Rooster event, officially from Blizzard, unofficially from some hints in the game. Either way, it's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of these new skins beyond the two that we know about already. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a fantastic afternoon. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you later.